What is going on everybody? It is Will with Atlanta X Driver and I'm sorry. I know I've been kind of inactive this summer. I've been replying to emails, um, but I've got a lot of videos coming for you guys. So hopefully bring some value and thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I first want to say thank you guys for all the subscribers. We are over 100. We've been over 100 for like the past month, which is like, honestly, didn't expect that at all from this channel. I was just kind of doing it to document stuff. Um, but it's now starting to come into a thing for me where I'm getting a bunch of emails from you guys asking for help, asking for advice, which is awesome. That's really just all I wanted to do with this channel is, you know, make sure the right people are the right people are uh, getting into this business and, you know, kind of explaining all the ins and outs so you don't have to make all the mistakes I did. Um, so I know one of the main requests over the summer I got was how to make money over the summer. And I want to apologize because summertime is basically over for us um, as far as like the slow season for drivers. Um, but right now we're about to get into busy season, so it's going to be a lot easier to make money. We got football season coming up. We got all the holidays, Labor Day weekend, Halloween, Thanksgiving, uh, the parties leading up until Christmas, fourth quarter is where it's at. So really, if you're going to drive at all and, you know, you're ready to drive, you've done all of your research, then this is definitely the time to drive way better than the summer. Um, <clears throat> but really I want to make this video about, did you make any money? this summer or are you making any money at all driving uh, so what I've created here is a very simple expense sheet on Excel just kind of outlining what I usually pay when I drive full-time um, and then also not to go off too much on tangent but I'm gonna be making a series this coming week it's probably gonna be seven episodes maybe eight but basically I am going to drive um, and hit a thousand dollars in one week. Um, I'm going to show you guys how I do that. Now, will this method help everybody in some way, probably? But you know, it really depends a lot on where you start. I am very lucky. I live in Roswell. Roswell is like a gold mine. Um, but you know, if you're like all the way in Dallas, Georgia, or you know, Covington, things might be a little bit hard for you, harder. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what's coming up. So let's go ahead and focus on this balance sheet right here. So, not to get too technical, but you have two different types of expenses when you get into this business and really any business. This is just business 101. So there are fixed expenses. Basically what that means is no matter how much you put in, so for us drivers, no matter how many miles you drive, these expenses will not change or probably will not change. So insurance, you know, it might change if you get in an accident, but you know, hopefully if, if you get in an accident, you're kind of, you should worry about a lot more as a driver than uh, just the insurance policy. I'll get to that in a little bit. Um, but like your phone bill, the cost of your phone that you're using um, when you're driving, using the apps and stuff. So things like that. So you could drive, you know, a billion miles, the cost of your phone probably won't change. And then on the other side of the spectrum, you have variable expenses. Um, so now gas, here's the interesting thing. Yes, the more you drive, the more gas you will use. However, the price of the gas will not change due to the amount of driving. The more you drive, the more gas you're going to need, period, uh, unless you're driving an electric car, but then replace gas with electricity. On the fixed expenses, these are probably, uh, the minor expenses, but the necessary ones. So, you know, your car payment, if you, uh, are if you own the car and you're paying paying it off monthly or you can replace that with you know the lease expense if you're renting through uber or lyft um i right now can't recommend that for the atlanta market area uh if you do do it you're definitely gonna have to drive full time because um the prices i've seen they've all been 150 200 a week which is a lot of money um you know your phone bill how much you're paying for your phone and the actual phone uh any apps you're using for this business so I use Intuit by uh, or no it's self-employed by Intuit um, it tracks everything from my miles to you know I have a business card basically just for this so all my expenses and um, revenue from that goes into this app which I can access from my phone or desktop and it just takes care of everything 
Uh, and then I also added, you know, outside services, a tax consultant. Highly, 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 highly recommend getting one. Um, or you can just, you know, use TurboTax, but make sure you are filing your taxes. I do mine quarterly. Um, and then do like a whole, you know, thing at the end of the year to make sure everything's cool, which is what my tax consultant fee is for. Um, but I highly recommend getting something like that just to cover all your bases, CYA, all that good stuff. Um, and remember... I am by no means, you know, I have a business degree, but I am not a CPA. I'm not a financial advisor at any means, so take everything I say with a grain of salt and consult a professional uh, in that field, the tax field. Okay, um, so variable expenses, this is where things are going to get a little pricey. And obviously the most expensive thing is going to be your gas. I do not have the most efficient car. Um, I have a 2013 Kia Optima. It gets... Um, where it's advertised between 25 and 35 MPG. Honestly, driving around, I might get like 23, 24 on a good day, unless it's all airport runs, they don't get like 27, 28, which is awesome. Um, so not the best car for this business, but um, it gets the job done. Um, oil changes, okay, so this price is obviously very, very high. Now, when I was driving full time, I got the synthetic oil change. So it's like the upper tier for, you know, just making your car run better, last longer, um, run smoother. Um, your cost will probably be like 20, 25. Um, I've seen some as low as 15 or you, you know, you can learn to change your own oil, which I guess I should have done, but I never got around to it cause I'm lazy. Um, now the way I calculated tires and brakes. So I've basically, I've been driving for over two years now. Um, it's like at two years and one month. So you can say two years. I've gone through a full set of tires, four tires, um, every year. Whether it's been from wear and tear, nails in my car, you know, just, I've just always gone through four tires every year. Um, so now this price isn't something you pay up front. Obviously, you know, I recommend saving about fifty to a hundred dollars per month on the side just to take care of maintenance costs. That way, when it comes up, you know, brakes are very expensive. And if you're driving full time, you probably will have to pay for a set of brakes. Um, I've only had to pay for one, re really repair mine, but it was like $800. So, you know, you don't want that to just like come up out of nowhere and be like, oh shoot, I didn't save for that. Save up, be prepared. Um, and then last but not least, so this is a variable, ex variable expense because it changes depending on um, the amount of miles that are on your car. So the more you drive, but depreciation, I feel like depreciation is one of the most overlooked things uh, in this business uh, for car owners. Now, if you're renting a car, this really doesn't matter to you. Um, you know, the cost of the lease kind of might outweigh the cost of the depreciation. Um, in my mind, especially if you're driving, you know, like a BMW or you're, you're driving the upper tier cars for like Uber X or Uber Black, Uber Select, that kind of thing. Because man, you buy like a new Mercedes, you drive that thing up the lot, the thing goes down a lot in value. It is insane. This is a very simple calculation. I go onto a website called kellybluebook.com. So you want to go to my car's value. And while that's loading, I want to point out, so in this example, I only did, I did basically a brand new car. So what, uh, I did my car, 2013 Optima. I did it from what it's worth at 10,000 miles to what it's worth at 20,000 miles. Uh, and it's really not that big of a difference, you know, $200 in the grand scheme of things isn't that big of a difference, but if it's $200 every 10k miles, just be very mindful of that. And I'll show you how that really affects the overall expense of things. You should do this monthly, I would say, you know, get a schedule, figure out where to drive, when to drive. Um, always keep track of your miles, obviously, but then say, okay. I know where to go, I know when to be there, it's gonna take me, you know, 500 miles to make this much this week and next week and next week, and then use that mileage, plug it into this Kelly Blue Book thing, and then you can calculate depreciation, and then you can really see if this business is good for you or not, if you're actually making a profit or not. All right, so now we're gonna combine everything. So with fixed expenses, depreciation, variable expenses, I'm at $1,100 a month which is a lot. This business is not cheap and about 13,300 annually. So right off the bat, it costs like a part-time job basically to be in this business. I see a lot of videos about, you know, $1,000 in a week, $25 per hour. I think 
back when Lyft first came out, they were advertising like $35 per hour. Is it possible? Yes. Consistently in this city? No. Um, but consistent, I mean like in a five hour window. Can you do $35 consistently every hour? No. I, I will bet you anything, UberX, Uber Pool, you definitely can't do that in this city. Uh, for five hours straight, $35 now. <clears throat> Just from money from driving, not from referral codes. Don't, don't get me on that. So really the way you need to be calculating profit and expenses and how much you earn is per mile. This is not an hourly job. This is not a salary job. This is contracted work that your input is your time behind the wheel and the way expenses and profit is calculated from that time you put in is through mileage. This is how you should calculate it. So basically, let's just go down the line. So looking at gas, 25 MPG, I kind of gave myself a little bit more, a little bit of a boost, and I rounded up. It's really like been 270, 275 gas here in Georgia, in Atlanta. Um, but I just went to $3 per gallon, and basically I took $3, divided it by the miles per gallon, which is 25. And that's how much it costs per mile. So 12 cents per mile, is not super pricey, but um, more on the higher side. Uh, actually, one of you emailed me and told me that uh, your car does 19 miles per gallon. So this is gonna be high for you. And I know you know who you are. I know you've probably read my email, but this is very, very crucial. If you're driving a bigger car for Uber, Make sure, or at least try to apply for Lyft Plus or Uber XL. You guys will make a lot more money than um, Uber X. You might be slower, but you'll make more money because it's it's made for bigger cars to operate on. Um, you know, if you're driving like <laughs> a Lexus SUV for Uber X, it's it's not gonna work out for you unless you're bored. Um, and then brakes, these are you know all things I pulled from Google basically. Um, you always want to check with your car and you know the manufacturer's guide um, But you know, let's say you get brakes if you're 50,000 miles um, Oil change is the same thing tires. It's the same thing uh, Depreciation we already calculated for you know a fairly new car It's about two cents and then even you know an older car at least for my car You know if you're driving like a Toyota Camry, this will probably be about the same thing Honda um, You know obviously another Kia um, but if you're driving, you know, like in the upper tier, like Uber, Uber XL, Uber Select, Uber Black, um, depreciation is definitely going to be higher for you guys. Um, so really the total cost is 17 cents per mile. This includes when you wake up, when you drive to the first passenger, while they're in your car, and then while you drop them off and drive to the next person. This is every single mile. When you're done and you're going home and you're ready to take care of business or, you know, whatever you do at home. So you're probably thinking like 17 cents, eh, that doesn't sound too bad. Okay, so this is where it really comes into play and makes a huge effect. So the Uber X rate, you can see on your way bill, just go into the app. Um, same for Lyft, they show you guys all this pretty much for the regular Uber X, regular Lyft. Uber Pool, I don't know why they don't show you the breakdown from time and mile, which is kind of messed up, but if you do the math and you get this, 0.67 cents. So minus your expenses, you're only making 50 to 57 cents per mile you drive, which is terrible. So let's say I do all Uber X's. I want to make $1,000. Okay, so this is where it's crucial to figure out how many miles it's gonna to take to make, you know, a profit. So, let's say you just do all Uber X. Let's say you drive a thousand miles. What's well, a thousand times 0.57? $570, right? So this is this is profit. You know, before your living expenses. You know, before you pay for your health care, your personal rent, wherever you're living, your children if you have them. It's going to take a thousand driving miles to put $570 in your pocket. Now for me, that's okay. I'm using this business to build my online business, um, which has been pretty fun so far. It's been extremely hard, but um, you know, this is the process. I'm really at the point where I'm just like, whatever it takes, whatever it takes. I don't care if I have to work like at Burger King at McDonald's at this customer service job at Uber Lyft. Whatever it takes to get this thing rolling, I will do it. I hope this puts things into perspective for you guys and really helps you guys 
calculate like this this is the most important thing to really go over and analyze before you start driving and yeah it might take you a month of driving to get all these numbers but i promise you driving that month and crunching these numbers is going to be a lot better than driving a year and then wondering why your loans and your debts are increasing and you're not making a lot of money this is why this is what you need to do um, all right, so that's all I have for this video. You know, did you make any money this summer? Are you making any money while you're driving? Email me. If you have any questions, email me. Um, I think at a certain point, I'm going to either get a separate phone or just uh, set up a calendar to where you guys can actually call me. Uh, set up some, you know, just some free 10 minute, 15 minute calls um, to really help you guys out because, you know, while I hopefully provide a lot of value in these videos, there's some things I need to hear from you guys and, you know, email's okay, written words okay, but um, I feel like a lot can be done faster through the phone. But yeah, that's really all I got for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you found value, like and subscribe. And um, I'll see you in the next couple of videos. They're going to be basically every day from now on for the next week at least. Um, showing you how I make $1,000. And then um, I'm leaving for Seattle the 29th through 29th of August through September 5th. So um, basically, I'm building up for that, and then also putting money for my uh, for my online business. Okay, cool. I'm done. <laughs> See you guys. Peace.